morning dear children today we are in the last chapter in the small book literature its name is christopher columbus have you heard of christopher columbus it's a person's name he is actually from spain a european spain is a european country keep in mind he was a sailor okay and he was an invader what does it mean he traveled through water sea in ships all the time it was all the time in 1700 and all he traveled through uh, sea in ships and he is trying to find out new lands his main aim was to reach to our country india because at that time europeans had a lot of trade with india india we know is a land of spices okay and india is a land of cotton and india is a land of rich stones and and britishers we know britishers for 200 countries they just uh, ruled us they took all uh, things from our country and they became rich right and this spanish people they also were in india some part were under spain some parts were under uh, portuguese and most parts of india was under britishers columbus was the christopher columbus was the first one who tried to find out a sea route from europe to india especially from spain to india and when he tried this spain was under even now spain is under king's rule uh, at that time spain was under a king, king called ferdinand ferdinand his wife was isabella okay so the spain was uh, not that much rich at that time because they were they had a war they had to spend a lot of money in war and after that they were trying to find out a, an easy route to india through sea so they can again become rich by bringing the spice and all to spain and selling them and thus king is asking and the king and the king ferdinand and queen isabella is asking columbus to find out a route to india and you know columbus is a sailor and he is very much interested in uh, traveling through sea sailing at that time the boats were not Uh, or the ships were not like today's ships today's ships are running in diesel and all at that time they were running using a you would say a, a, a large uh, stick or a, a large that's actually called mast a large post is there in the middle and some cloth made things they are called sails actually are helping the ships to move you would say we call it by couple okay it took so many months for them to travel from one place to another because they were traveling using wind anyway columbus was ready to come to india he is there having three other friends we, we, we will see everything in the chapter and they are starting a journey for so many days they they traveled every others in the ship where against columbus they wanted to go back because they couldn't find india or any land they thought at that time everybody believed that at this flat and as it is flat one day we will reach the edge and fall down and die that was what they were believing after that only mother and father found, found out that at this round so they were they were again they were just angry towards columbus because columbus was not ready to reach come back at last they reached a land it was not india it was america okay they reached actually in america and america also we know it's a, it's a land of gold and all and they had a lot of trade with america they just uh, took america under their possession under their control and uh, after columbus so many uh, he went back with his people and so many other came to uh, america and took america under their control and today we will see the, the journey of the first journey of columbus to find out india i already told you he didn't reach to india and he reached to america that small incident only a small part of that drama is given here it's a big drama and today we will see that drama so let us see the drama and uh, just enjoy the drama there won't be a conclusion for this chapter because i have told you everything so uh, this is how the drama goes on they are just traveling for so many days they are really tired only columbus is not tired every others are tired anyway class they reached the land that land is known india they reached to america okay see the chapter and enjoy the chapter okay the characters of this drama are christopher columbus uh, isabella the queen of spain 
Then before that, uh, the king of Spain is there. His name is uh, Ferdinand. Then uh, chief of the native people. That means mm, when they reach to America, there is a chief. Okay, for of the that the people living in America. Then a cabin boy who is to help in, uh, in the ship. There is a medicine man. Then uh, Bianca, Enrico, and Alfonso. So they are shipmates of Columbus. Okay, those who are the, they are sailors who are with Columbus. Then uh, as the chief of the native people is there uh, with him, there are two other native men. Okay, these are the people uh, in this or the uh, actors in this drama. So the story is taking place in the court of Ferdinand and Isabella. Court means you know the court is in the palace. Okay, uh, they are the king and queen of Spain, Ferdinand and Isabella, and uh, they are already seated. You, in the picture you can see and. Christopher Columbus is entering into uh, the court in front of the king and queen. There are there are attendants with him. Attendants means uh, who are attending him uh, mainly sent by sent by the king and queen to call him. Okay. So soon after reaching, he kneels at the feet of the king who motions him to rise. Sorry, rise. So soon after reaching, he is reaching in front of the king. So he kneels down. Okay. He stands on kneel. King just showed him to rise up. And Ferdinand is telling, the king is telling, you have come promptly in answer to our message. So the king had called him, king had sent a message to him and he says, you have come promptly, promptly means soon after receiving the message. Okay, you came quickly. Yes, your majesty, I am anxious to begin my voyage across the Atlantic. So Columbus, we know he is a sailor, he, is, he likes to travel in sea. So uh, he says, I am anxious to begin my voyage across the Atlantic. So I am too much anxious. Okay, I am too much enthusiastic to begin my new journey across the Atlantic Ocean. Okay. And Sabella uh, was having a piece of paper in her hand. This letter from prayer Juan of La Rabida has uh, aroused our interest. Okay. So uh, prayer means uh, the person like a governor who is ruling a person, uh, sorry, ruling an area. So he had written a letter to the king and queen of Spain and uh, that was the reason that was the reason that increased our interest in this journey. So they are coming to uh, find out India. Okay, they, they wanted to reach to India. So uh, India, they already know it's a, it's a land of spices and rich things. Okay, rich stones and all. So they wanted to reach to India. That is why Columbus is starting his journey. Ferdinand, we... Fear that such an expedition may be a failure. The last explorers who attempt that voyage found nothing but clouds out there in the ocean. So Columbus is not ready, not that much willing because he said, uh, we are not sure whether we will be successful to reach to India because many other travelers also uh, tried for, a, for finding out or reaching to India, but they all could find nothing other than clouds in the ocean. Okay. That means they could only see the wide ocean. They couldn't reach to India. Isabella, just turning to the king, has said, He is a brave man to face the unknown dangers of the sea of darkness. Isabella is confident that um, f uh, our Columbus will be able to find out India because he says, she says, uh, he is a brave man. Who is, the bra who is a brave man? Columbus is a brave man. He can, he can, uh, just overcome all the dangers of the sea of darkness. Sea of darkness means uh, the sea is very wide and it's really dangerous. That is why it is said to be the sea of darkness. Ferdinand says, Do you really think that you can find a short route to India? Okay. So I only told you their aim is to find a route to India. I firmly believe so, Your Majesty, and I am willing to risk my life to prove it. So he also said, I, I believe so. I firmly believe so. I strongly believe so. And I am ready to risk even my life. Okay. I am ready to risk my life. Even if I wanted to sacrifice my life, I am ready. Because somehow I want to find out a route to India. An easy route. Okay. Yeah. The danger is very great. And the cost of the ships will be considerable. We have spent so much money on war that we have none left to waste. So just before this journey, Spain had, had a war 
so we know in a war they had to spend a lot of money and the king says the cost of this trip is too much the ships are very costly and our country is not that much rich now but anyway we have we cannot waste this money okay we don't have any more money to waste do not refuse him isabella is just just telling do not refuse him i will sell my jewels to provide the means if you need i have some jewelry some ornaments if you need some money i, I am ready to sell those ornaments indeed i fear that that may be necessary for spain is no longer rich king also said indeed you may have to sell your jewelry because uh, spain our country is no more no more rich if i go i can be the means of bringing you wealth after i find short way to india rich silks and spices can be bought here by boat thus avoiding the long overland journey okay see and at that time they were traveling through uh, through land they were carrying the things on uh, the, the, these kind of horses and all so what he told is if i find a short route to india i can bring everything fastly to our country from india okay so we can we, we can bring everything fast so there won't be much cost for that so we will we will earn a lot of money what do you say is true ships move much more quickly than the caravans of the desert okay that is what the uh, isabella the queen also just admitted what he said she also admitted what you say is right because ships can move very fastly the caravans in the desert what is caravan caravan uh, actually means uh, together people and uh, camels and all camels mainly not horses camels and all ca carrying a lot of luggage through the desert is called caravan okay so it can reach fast my queen do as you will but i have very little faith in the plan king is not that much happy in this plan but anyway he is uh, admitting what the queen said my dear queen do what you what as your as you will as you will means as your ambition as you, what you think do what you think but i don't i don't like this idea i don't i have much faith in this idea isabella is turning to how many ships do you need she asked to columbus how many ships three will suffice your majesty suffice means sufficient three are enough okay you may plan to make the voyage i will be responsible for the necessary money anyway you plan to make the Uh, journey i will br bring you i will make you enough money i thank your majesties when do you wish to start ferdinand asked okay when when will you start your journey as soon as possible then choose your men and be ready to leave palos at an early date palos is a place in Ger uh, sorry spain uh, a port in spain from where they are starting their journey so the king just asked him you just find out other men whom you should carry with you you should take with you uh, then uh, start as soon as possible from palos i will lose no time when i return a trip to india will be as easy as will be an easy journey okay he just told i won't waste any time when i come back a trip to india will be a safe and fast journey okay good luck to you brave friend i thank your majesty so he bows and goes out uh, the other people follows him the king and queen leading the line of the courtiers and ladies they also went out okay so the first scene is over it was in the palace of the king ferdinand and the queen isabella the second scene is in the sea they had started their journey we cannot see everything so they are in the ship they are traveling so the the cabin of a ship at sea the second scene is in in a room in a ship the ship is in the sea that so they had started so many days so many months they have passed now so many days they have passed enrico is one in the ship with columbus he had three other men we already saw in the beginning with his elbow on the table and his head in his hands he is really unhappy he is really distraught and he is enrico says we shall never see land again i wish we had never come i know the earth is flat some dark night we might fall off the earth so at that time all the people believed that the earth is flat okay so uh, he says we should not how come we will not see even spain again so they he says that we have lost our way so we will uh, as the earth is flat from the edge of the earth we will fall down that is what he told as the earth is flat 
from the edge of the earth we will fall down and we will die okay that was their belief okay bayanka is another one in the ship to continue this voyage is madness the captain ought to be forced to turn the ship about and return see this is really madness it's really mad to continue this journey we should we should uh, force our captain we should compel our captain to turn the ship and return back or turn back alfonso is another one enrico let us urge him to go home <coughs> if he refuses we will throw him overboard and uh, the another one alfonso just said enrico we will uh, just force the captain to go home we will urge him urge him means compel him if he doesn't accept what you say does it admit what we see what we say we will throw him to the sea and we will go back so they are all angry because for so many days they had been traveling they could not find india or any other land i am not anxious to get into any trouble enrico said no 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 i won't ask i am not anxious to get into any trouble i am not afraid alfonso said i am not afraid i am not afraid to ask the captain he stepped up to columbus who is just entering so enrico was uh, really afraid of columbus but alfonso said no i don't have any problem i am not afraid i will ask him now columbus entered into the room captain we are weary of this voyage we demand that you turn the ship about and take us home so he told the captain columbus that we are weary we are afraid of this journey this voyage so we just request you to turn the ship and take us back home impossible said columbus no this is not possible Alfonso was shaking his fat, uh, fist. If you refuse, refuse, we will compel you. He was angry. He was just shaking his fist. Okay. We are, we are just, uh, what did he say? If you refuse, if you don't do that, we will compel you. We will force you. You are excited. Be patient a little longer. Okay. You are too much excited. You just be patient some more time, some more days. Let us take the matter into our own hands. he will not listen to us enrico said let us take the matter to our own hands means let us do it ourselves okay don't ask him he doesn't listen to us he is not listening to us silence my people the king and the queen of spain have sent me to find the indies and i will go on until i reach them listen my people uh, the king and queen of our country my country they have spent a lot of money and sent me to find india indies means india and uh, i will not go or sorry and i will go on until i reach them okay so i will continue my journey until i reach india okay that is what he told how much longer do you think it will take so how many more days will it, will, will it take do you think okay to reach india if you do not see land in 3 days i will take you home that is a fair agreement so we will wait 3 more days columbus told we will wait 3 more days in 3 3 days we if we don't find india or any other land we will turn back and go home okay yeah that is a fair agreement okay that's 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 okay i think that's a fair agreement he picks up a spy glass and goes out alfonso hear that friends enrico was raising his voice loudly he said we will hold him to his word okay anyway we will hold him to his word means we will just believe his words okay <sighs> or throw him into the sea otherwise we will throw him into the sea if after 3 days he he doesn't return we will throw him into the sea a cabin boy was there he was waking up rubbing his eyes and stretching as soon as i get to sleep somebody makes a noise and wakes me up so what he has a complaint whenever i come to sleep somebody will make a noise and wake makes me up okay don't won't you allow me to sleep we are all sleepy from staying up nights and watching for island we are foolish to stand it any longer okay yeah see for so many days we were not sleeping we we had been watching for land and uh, now we feel, we all feel sleepy we are foolish to stand it any longer okay no longer we can wait the cabin boy goes back to sleep anyway he is sleeping alfonso has more sense than all the rest of us he takes a nap every chance he gets okay so these people were not sleeping they were eagerly waiting for the lad and alfonso said see those that lad who is the lad the boy 
Okay, the cabin boy. He has more sense than us. He is more brilliant than us. Whenever he gets some time, he goes, he gets a nap. Nap means short sleep. Okay. One sailor said, rushing his uh, in excitedly with a stick in the, his hand. Suddenly, uh, a sailor came in. Okay, sailor means who are guiding the ship. Here is a stick I found floating on the water. It has been cut with a knife. We must be nearing land. So he, ha he was having a stick in his hand. He just told, see, I found this stick floating in water. See, the one side of the stick is cut with a knife. So we will be nearing land. There will be land nearby. Okay, that is why this stick is there in the water. Columbus entering with a branch of tree in his hand. Here is a branch with red berries on it. Land is not far off. He also bought another branch. He told, see, here is a branch of stick. There are red berries on it. Okay, like blackberry, there, there are red berries on it. And land is not far away. Hooray for our captain. He was wiser than we were about this voyage. Now, we will say hooray for our captain. We will congratulate him because he is more brilliant than us. I saw a strange light in the distance. It looked like a moving torch in the woods. Okay, the sailor is in, in far away. I saw a, a, a light. Okay, in, the, in a distance, in, far away. So I, I felt that it was a light moving. To, it was a torch moving in the woods. That is a white sand of the seashore. Okay, and Columbus said that is not light. That is a white sand of the seashore. Okay, that is sand. Cabin boy was. What is the matter now? Cabin boy is again waking up. Alfonso was shaking the boy. Wake up, you lazy fellow. Land is in sight. We have found out land, you wake up. Get the small boats ready to land. So, this is a ship. They cannot go near the land. Okay. Ship won't go near to the land because its uh, bottom side will hit the mud or sand. So, they had small boats with them. They are just, they are just, uh, just uh, ready to go in that small boat to the land. All rush out talking excitedly to one another. They all rushed out very excitedly. Now, that scene also over. They found the land. Scene 3. The seashore. The place's name is San Salavor. Okay. The place where they reached is San Salavor. Native people are moving about. Columbus and the sailors fall upon their knees and kiss the ground. The natives crowd around. Okay. The people of that land, they are the native people. Okay, where they, where Columbus and all reached. They have reached to a new country. Okay, we, we will see whether it is India or not. They were moving around, Columbus and other people, soon after reaching a new land, they just kneeled down and kissed the land. The other people were moving around. Chief of the native people. From where did these strange-faced men come to our shores? Where did these people come to our shore? A brave man just says, the broad wings of their ships have brought them from some far country. See, they have broad wings for that ship. Wings means those uh, mats like sails which helps the ship to move. I believe that they have come from a far off country. A medicine man is there. He says, their language sounds musical. I wonder what they are saying. Okay. See, the people who reached were, were speaking another language. They were speaking Spanish. They had reached actually to America. So, they were speaking English. So, they didn't understand what they are speaking. So, the medicine man says, their language is, seems to be musical. It's like a music. Okay, I, I, wonder, I, I wonder what they are speaking. They look friendly. If they were our enemies, they would have attacked us. Chief just says, anyway, they are friendly. If they were enemies, they would have attacked us by now. A native woman says, why do they knee on the ground? Why are they kneeing down on the ground? They may be praying to the great spirit. Uh, they may be praying to the great spirit means God. They themselves look like spirits from heaven. See, look, they are dress and all. They look like spirits from heaven. Really wonderful people, attractive people. Like spirits from heaven. Okay, like angels and all. Perhaps we can make them understand by signs. So, we will just communicate to them with some signs. I wish we could. Okay, I wish we could. I also wish that we can make them understand. Let us welcome them. Native people approach the European. European means uh, Spain is a part of Europe. So they are European. Others are uh, American. Okay. They make signs and exchange presents. They uh, made signs of welcoming and they just gave him, gave them Columbus and team. They gave Columbus and team some gifts to welcome them. 
Columbus mentioned them to rise, motioned them to rise and examined some gold ornaments which the native people have given him. This is a rich land full of gold. We will lay claim to it. I am sure that no European has ever been before here before. So the, the, the chief and all had given them some gifts. Okay. Some of those gifts were gold ornaments. Now by seeing the gold ornaments, Columbus understood that this is a rich land. There is a lot of gold and no other Europeans have come here before. So we will cl take claim of this land. Take claim means we will take it as ours. It must be Asia. Perhaps we have found India. Maybe this is Asia. Sometimes we would have reached India. At any rate, we are the first to cross the Atlantic Ocean. That is something worth doing. Anyway, we are the first who have crossed the Atlantic Ocean. So that is something really great. See the fine country and the beautiful trees. It is almost as pleasant here as it is in our own land. See the beautiful country, the fine trees here. It is something similar to our Spain. The native are good looking men. They have proud and noble faces. The people here are also good looking. They have proud and uh, good faces. And they are so friendly that there is nothing to fear. If they were unfriendly, they might be dangerous enemies. See, they are friendly people too. Otherwise, they would have been dangerous to us. When we come again, the king will give us all the men and ships we need. So they are going back. They will come back again with a lot of men from uh, their country. The wall of Spain would want to come after we, uh, we go back and tell them about this great country. Okay. When we go and tell our country people about this great country, everyone in Spain may have to wish to come here. Okay. Actually, they have reached to America. Okay. Now we will claim this new land and then explore the country. Now first we will claim. Claim means take it as ours. Bring it under our control. And then we will explore it. Explore means explore means ah, we will find out what all things are there. Okay. Unfolding the flag of unfurling the flag of Spain and planting the stuff in the ground. They took the flag and just planted it. Stuff means the stick. Okay. It was tied on a stick. They placed it in the ground. This is how we take the the country under our control. The name of the glorious sovereigns, Ferdinand and Isabella. I take possession of this land and name it San Salvador. Okay. And by keeping the flag there, uh, just Columbus said, in the name of the great sovereign, sovereign means the king and the queen of Spain. Uh, in the name of the king and queen, Ferdinand and Isabella. I take possession. I just take this country's possession. I take it as ours. Okay. And I name this land as San Salvador. So that is how that place got the name San Salvador. Okay.